Hey everybody, welcome back to Whiskey Wednesday. Today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about my responsibilities as the Director of Operations here at Cedar Ridge. So let's get started. So balancing my two positions as Director of Operations and Head Distiller, uh, that's probably the hardest part of my job. And that's mainly because they're, it's basically two different jobs and they a lot of times have conflicting interests. For instance, the Director of Operations is all about budgeting, efficiencies, time management, whereas the, uh, the Head Distiller is all about the art of the process and the art of the product being patient, being understanding. So it can be very difficult to balance the two different positions and sometimes um, I'm one and not the other depending on the situation. So it can be very difficult, but it's also a lot of fun. Uh, the pandemic obviously had uh, a huge impact on my role as director of operations. And obviously we did a, a quick and hard transition into the world of hand sanitizer for a while. And I'll be completely honest, producing hand sanitizer is nowhere near as fun as producing whiskey. So I'm glad to be done with that. And now um, we're being thrown into a bottle shortage issue which is due to uh, rising demand in shipping containers. There's actually a huge shipping crisis going on right now. So in order to get bottles from overseas here, it's actually very, very difficult. So you'll see not only us, but many other distilleries, as well as breweries and wineries, switching the containers in which they're, they're packaging their materials in. So uh, we're getting ready to switch from our normal custom Cedar Ridge bottle uh, to a backup bottle while we're waiting on our, our normal ones to ship from overseas. Uh, I'd say my favorite part of being the director of operations is uh, obviously the team of people that I get to work with is always fun. Um, very fortunate in that sense, got a good group of people. In addition to that, I'd say the constant problem solving. I used to really, really dislike that and it was very stressful, uh, but over time you kind of grow to love things like that. Being in the director of operations role, there's, there's always something that's an issue, something's broken, something needs fixed. Um, you know, there's a shipping crisis, there's a pandemic, you name it, and um, there's always something to deal with. And over time, I've learned to really appreciate that and, and almost enjoy it in a way. Uh, so the challenges of being in both roles are that uh, they're both very time consuming positions and more time spent on one of the positions is less time spent on the other, which can be very difficult to deal with. Luckily, I have a really talented team that I'm working with and they, they make it a little bit easier on me. So I'm very fortunate in that sense. Uh, that would be a really, really difficult situation, a uh, really difficult choice for me to make. I, I would really miss being director of operations because I truly do enjoy it. But there really is nothing that beats working with the whiskey and the hands-on elements of uh, kind of shaping whiskey, manipulating it. I really, really do enjoy being the head distiller. I'm passionate about the process. Uh, I, my background in brewing distilling has always been something that's very special to me. And I do miss it the, the further removed I get from it. So I would have to choose being the head distiller. Well, thanks again for tuning in. In the future, if there's anything you want us to talk about or cover, don't hesitate to leave a comment. Uh, we'd love to hear from you and we'd love to answer any questions you have. So thanks again for joining us. We'll see you next week.